All right, welcome back to the Sports Max Zone and we head across to the Sport of Kings. Interesting times ahead, ridden by Jamaica's leading jockey Tevin Foster, scored an impressive three and a half length victory in the 90th running of the Jamaica St. Leisure at Kimanas Park on Sunday. Here's Brian Rickman with the call. For the 2024 running of the Jamaica St. Ledger. They're off for the St. Ledger. Back in Rome gets a good start on the far side with supremacy. California Crown will attempt to go all the way. As now going through to get that lead, California Crown, there's supremacy rushing up between horses. Mac and Rome on the rail, Allegiance five lengths in behind them with the speedy run, Julie run, restrained this afternoon as they head into that clubhouse turn. King Pie, interesting times ahead, follow through. Provident races toward the back of the field with Crown Chaser, Brenda Boy second from last, and Captain Sparrow will have to fly late. They're into that clubhouse turn. They make their way now toward the uh, final seven. Mac and Rome just the leader. Supremacy pressing a half a length down. California Crown reserved back in third as they make their way now toward the final six furlongs. Interesting times ahead is just another three lengths in behind that punch. Allegiance races next, a close up fifth as they go past the six. Or run, Julie, run, not let you set. King Pie is four lengths in behind her. Provident just a half a length down and running the rail. Crown chaser toward the back. And last of all, it is a Captain Sparrow and Brenda Boy as they head toward the half mile. They've left the five behind them in the St. Ledger. Continuing, California Crown has now shot through and gets that lead, attempting to steal away from them. Supremacy going in chase, four lengths down. Interesting times ahead, now bursts through. And it is interesting times ahead, who has now taken second place. But up front, it is a California Crown. The filly, Run Julie Run, now grabs a hold of them. And Run Julie Run now takes the lead on the approach to the 5-16th. Interesting times ahead, right alongside her. And these two will come into the lane in the Jamaica. St. Ledger, the brave run, Julie run. Interesting times ahead now looks to point. Run, Julie run, not done yet. Beginning to run on from behind, that is Crown Chaser. But they run toward the furlong pole. Interesting times ahead, shaking loose from run, Julie run. Interesting times ahead opens up two in the drive. They approach the final 16th. It is interesting times ahead out in front and pouring away from them. Interesting times ahead, a four-timer for Chase, Jason Da Costa and Tevin Foster, Crown Chaser looks to be just second over Run Julie Run, then Provident. And finishing up in fifth, Captain Sparrow. <laughs> the win is trainer Jason Acosta, sixth classic win, leading jockey Tevin Foster, first classic win, and he was very grateful for breaking his classic docks. Thanks to the Almighty, um, thanks to the connection, the owner, the trainer, and the groom. And thanks to the trainer and the groom, um, the work they dedicated to this house. Um, the other day I rode this horse, um, uh, miss up um, a bit impatient and I just changed my strategy today and sit a bit patient and we asked him to run whenever I develop and he's ready to move and I did that. You've been having a fabulous season so far, Tevin. How does it feel to win your first classic race? Well, it's a fantastic feeling and it's also a gift because um, first when it was my, my birthday and the storm came. So I just take it as a gift. I just take it as um, the best moment. Um, so you just enjoy it the time while it lasts. Yeah. Just to be clear, if the fans missed it, Wednesday was your birthday, your 30th birthday, and you had to endure Hurricane Beryl through it. So it must have been a, a tough birthday for you. Well, it's just a blessing, you know, on the rain and everything. And Beryl came and he did what he had to do further. He never mashed up the track or stopped racing. So um, it's the best feeling ever to my first classic race. And as I say, thanks to the groom and the trainer, the work, the time I take. Uh, this has, um, we had a little mishap when we carried it and it worked out well today and we came home victorious. And finally, two furlongs longer for the derby next month. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty confident, you know, because I know, I know my ass well and I know what he can do. So I'm pretty confident. Leading jockey there, Tevin Foster, speaking about his triumph aboard Interesting Times Ahead. Well, Lance, how confident are you that Interesting Times Ahead can stay the extra two furlongs for the derby? next month confident enough because i think interest in times ahead is the best three-year-old in the country at the moment having said that his trainer jason lacosta told me post race yesterday that the horses who chased him um crown chaser and uh, run julie run the yeah. filly who who tested him down the home stretch weren't that far behind and uh, a lot can happen in a month and a lot can happen when an additional two furlongs is added to a race so 
uh, he doesn't want to be complacent. But I could see the quiet confidence in his narrative that he thinks he has the best horse. And um, as long as interest in times ahead stays fit between now and early August when the derby comes up, I think interest in times ahead is the horse to beat. He was a champion two-year-old last year, yeah. having won the Jamaica two-year-old stakes, and was very, very impressive in winning the Portmore and Kingston races as prep events for the 2,000 Guinness, which he lost to his stablemate California Crown. But we heard... Tevin Foster take some responsibility for that horse's defeat uh, a month ago that he felt he was a little bit impatient and he didn't give the horse the best ride even though I think he's being a little gracious there because there were some stories um, coming through that on the exercise track interest in times ahead was having some issues and all may not have been right with him when he lost the 2000 Guinness surprisingly as far as I was concerned but I think he's good now, and it will take a, a good horse to beat him in the derby next month. Yeah, and he got revenge from California Crown because that horse was the winner of the 2000 guineas. That's right. And I, I feel like the jockey and, of course, the owner must feel really good that they were able to get that revenge, Lance. Well, it, it's his stablemate, so it's the, <laughs> same, it's the same trainer, Jason Costa. But the owner is different. Carlton Watson would have, would have owned uh, right. uh, Crown, Crown Chaser. Um, California Crown, but I think one of the one of the issues here is that interest in times ahead, um, based on his build up to the 2000 Guinness, had been the favorite to win. Okay. And um, because he lost the 2000 Guinness, there was some redemption now in him coming back to win the Saint Leisure. I want to spend a little bit of time in praising Tevin Foster as a rider. I think he's a very, very fine rider. He actually won four races yesterday, all of them for trainer Jason Lacosta. Wow. And it would be hard for him to be beaten in the Jockeys Championship. I've been watching his growth in the saddle for over a year now. And if you watch him ride, if you look his, at his physical synergy with the horses, which is one of the keys to being a good rider, yeah. when you're aboard a horse, you are, from a weight perspective, a burden to the horse. So the more in sync you are with a horse's movement, it's the better for the horse to perform yeah. at its best. And Tevin Foster, to me, aces that. He has a really good physical synergy with his horses. And um, I'm happy for him that he won this race yesterday. It was his first classic win. Last year in the St. Ledger, he had finished second aboard Money Miser. Yeah. And he was second in the 2000 Guinness last month as well with this horse interest in times ahead. So his first classic win, the first of what I expect to be many classic wins for Tevin Foster. And I'm happy for the young man that he won. They only just turned 30 years old, as you heard last week, Wednesday, yeah, was hurricane his birthday time. during Hurricane Beryl. And I can't imagine having a birthday last Wednesday when Hurricane Beryl was on. Me neither. Thank <laughs> God. All right. Well, you know, a lot of... Um, he got a lot of competition from Ron Julie Ron and of course the same horse California Crown but of course coming out on top of the field and winning that one interesting times ahead well Lance we're going to take a quick break when we come back in zone update two then we talk some Olympics <laughs> 